Plantar Approach for Recurrent Morton's Neuroma This video has been produced from a book source. I would like to thank editors and authors Piet de Boer, Richard Buckley, Stanley Hoppenfeld. The name and citation of the book are provided below for those interested in purchasing it. Citation, Buckley, R. 2022. Surgical Exposures in Foot and Ankle Surgery, The Anatomic Approach. Lippincott Williams Wilkins. The plantar approach for a digital neuroma gives excellent exposure of the common plantar digital nerve. The approach can be extended proximally to expose more of the nerve. The major disadvantage of the incision is that it creates a plantar scar. Healing time is often longer than the dorsal approach. Plantar scars are occasionally sensitive. Position of the patient, position of the patient. Place the patient supine on the operating table. Apply a tourniquet, either at the midpoint of the thigh or just above the ankle after the leg has been exsanguinated. Alternatively, use a soft rubber bandage to exsanguinate the foot, then use the bandage as a tourniquet at the ankle. Figure. Landmarks and incision. To palpate each metatarsal head, place the thumb on the plantar surface and the index finger on the dorsal surface of the foot. The skin under the metatarsal heads may be thickened. This may also be used as a landmark. Make a 4 to 5 same longitudinal incision from the plantar aspect of the sole of foot overlying the interspace to be explored. Begin the incision just distal to the level of the metatarsophalangeal joint and proceed proximally. Superficial surgical dissection. Deepen the approach in the line of the skin incision, figure, and identify the flexor tendons running to the two affected toes. Using blunt dissection between the flexor tendons, develop a surgical plane. Deep surgical dissection. Identify the common plantar digital nerve running with its artery between the flexor tendons. When using the approach for revision surgery, start by identifying the common plantar digital nerve well proximal to the previous surgical field away from the scarring caused by the primary surgery. Trace the nerve from proximal to distal, identifying its bifurcation. Figure. When excising the neuroma, ensure that the proximal section of the nerve is proximal to the metatarsal heads. Excision of the neuroma, particularly in revision surgery, should always be confirmed histologically. Dangers. The long flexor tendons of the toes are easily identifiable in the superficial surgical dissection. The artery, running with the common plantar digital nerve, can be sacrificed during excision of the digital nerve. The danger of the approach lies in the creation of a plantar scar. The approach should be avoided when atrophic skin is present, as well as in cases of peripheral vascular disease, most notably diabetes mellitus. How to enlarge the approach. The approach is specifically designed for exploration of digital neuroma, thus cannot be extended. The key to adequate exposure is to identify the nerve proximally well away from the site of previous surgery, then trace it into the area of the previous surgery where there will be extensive scarring. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.